You may have heard that Nancy Pelosi is in some hot water for her stock trading. But do you know why it's illegal for members of Congress to trade stocks? It all comes down to a little something called insider trading. When a politician has access to information that the average person doesn't, and they use that information to make trades, that's insider trading, and it's illegal. There have been a few cases of politicians getting caught in insider trading in the past, but Nancy Pelosi's case is a little different. Not only did she break the law, but she also tried to cover it up. Hey there, welcome to the Daytime Dollar, where we talk about financial strategies and how small changes can make big improvements. Today, we are talking about Nancy Pelosi's stock trades and explain why Congress should be banned from trading stocks altogether. So let's get into it. Who is Nancy Pelosi? Nancy Pelosi is the current Speaker of the House of Representatives, and she's been in politics for a long time. A lot of people are familiar with her name, but not many people know that she's been involved in some major stock trading scandals. In fact, in 2012, it was revealed that she had broken the law by trading stocks based on insider information. And this isn't the first time she's been caught doing something like this. In 2009, she was also accused of insider trading. So why is this a big deal? Well, Congress is allowed to trade stocks based on information they receive as lawmakers, but they're not allowed to trade stocks based on information they receive as lawmakers and then use that information to make deals for their own benefit, which is exactly what Pelosi did. What are the details of Nancy Pelosi's stock trades? So what are the details of Nancy Pelosi's stock trades? Let's take a look. In 2009, Nancy Pelosi and her husband purchased $5 million worth of shares in Visa Incorporated. One day later, she introduced a bill that would block a proposed merger between Visa and competitor MasterCard. The bill didn't go anywhere, but Pelosi made a killing on her investment. Her stock shot up by nearly $1 million, making her one of the biggest beneficiaries in the proposed merger. Pelosi later said that she didn't know about the merger when she bought her shares and that she sold them as soon as she found out. But that explanation doesn't hold water because the proposed merger had been in the news for months and it was clear that it was going to happen. Stoke, what do you think? Should members of Congress be banned from trading stocks? How did Nancy Pelosi's stock trades break the law? It's no secret that Nancy Pelosi is a powerful woman. As Speaker of the House, she's one of the most influential people in Congress. But it turns out that Pelosi is also pretty powerful when it comes to stock trading. And back in 2010, it was revealed that she had traded stocks in companies that were receiving government money. At the time, it was illegal for members of Congress to trade stocks based on information they received as lawmakers. And since Pelosi had access to insider information, her trades broke the law. Luckily for Pelosi, she was never charged with any crime. But the fact that she was able to get away with it highlights the need for reform in Congress. There's a reason why members of Congress are banned from insider trading. It's because they have access to information that the average person doesn't. And if they're allowed to trade stocks based on that information, it's unfair to everyone else. That's why Nancy Pelosi's stock trades were so wrong. And it's why Congress needs to be banned for trading stocks altogether. Why should Congress be banned for trading stocks? You might be wondering why Congress is considering a ban on stock trading by members. The answer is pretty simple. So that members can't conduct insider trading. You see, when members of Congress are allowed to trade stocks, they have access to information that the average person doesn't have. And because they're not supposed to use this information to benefit themselves financially, they're breaking the law if they do. That's why two-thirds of Americans support a ban on stock trading by members of Congress. They know that it's not fair for elected officials to have an advantage over the rest of us when it comes to financial gain. So far, there hasn't been much progress on this issue in Congress. But Nancy Pelosi's recent stock trades have brought it back into the spotlight. And hopefully this time, lawmakers will finally do something to fix the problem. What would be the consequences of banning Congress from trading stocks? Imagine if Congress were banned from trading stocks. What would be the consequences? Here's what you can expect. First, the stock market would be a lot more stable. Right now, there's a huge conflict of interest at play because members of Congress are allowed to trade stocks while they're making decisions that could directly impact these companies. It's no secret that some members of Congress use their positions to make a quick buck. In fact, Nancy Pelosi is just one example of this. In 2009, she made $101,000 in profits from trading stocks in just eight hours. And she's not the only one. Second, it would create a more level playing field for everyday Americans. At the moment, members of Congress have access to insider information that the average person doesn't. This puts them at an unfair advantage when it comes to trading stocks. If you're not happy with the current state of things, then make your voice heard and sign this petition asking Congress to ban stock trading. Conclusion You've probably been hearing a lot about Nancy Pelosi's stock trades and how they might have broken the law. But what does that actually mean? And why should Congress be banned for trading stocks? 
Here's the deal. It's illegal for members of Congress to trade stocks based on information they receive through their position in government. But that's exactly what Pelosi did, and she could face some pretty serious penalties as a result. So why should Congress be banned from trading stocks altogether? Basically, it's because they have an unfair advantage over regular citizens. They know about legislation before it's even announced, and that gives them an edge in the stock market. It's time for Congress to get rid of this unfair advantage and ban members from trading stocks altogether. It's the only way to ensure that everyone is playing by the same rules. So guys, that's all about today's topic. See you soon in the next video. Goodbye.